Namaskar, this is Saurav Jain from Chennai, India and in today, this video, I'm going to share with you how do you strategize a college or a university or an institute's presence on digital and how do you generate leads for them. But before I begin, I would like to give you a quick introduction. I run a digital marketing agency which is a nine-year-old digital marketing agency based out of Chennai and uh, we have been recognized as one of the most result-oriented agency. We specialized in digital marketing services and consulting. We consult a lot of companies from across the country and help them achieve their desired business goals. So we help them either execute things or we help them just strategize and do a training and handholding for the team in order to make them successful with respect to their digital business goals. I have a team of 50 people right now and uh, some of our core expertise is lead generation and social media marketing. These are some of the services that we offer, which is about training and team building, building, search engine optimization, search engine marketing, website development, lead generation, personal branding. We do a lot of personal branding for experts. We do personal branding for politicians and celebrities. We do product exclusive product photo shoots, brand building campaigns, social media marketing, influencer marketing and event marketing. So this is pretty much what our portfolio looks like. So that's the kind of services that we offer based out of the agency which is located in India. Now let's look at how we created a strategy for this brand called SMK Formula, which is an engineering, engineering college based out of Chennai. Now the objective of the campaign was to drive lead generation for the college for a period of three months. That's what we were trying to achieve for them. We were also trying to help them create an online presence across the Google platforms and recommended social media platform during the admission phase. Regular scrutinization of the campaign to ensure quality leads for the brand. So these were some of the focus arenas. Let's look at how we created digital marketing strategy for SMK Formula. This was a three months pilot project and this brand came to us for exclusively generating leads so that they can get the desired number of students at the institute. And that was the only objective that they had when they came to us. The second important focus was they wanted to make enough noise about the offerings that they had across the city as well as across the entire state to the prospective students. So they wanted to create immense awareness through Google platforms and social media platforms. They wanted to get into media buying. So there is enough visibility for the offerings that they had to the right audiences. So what did we do? Now let's break down the activity down in different phases. So the first thing that we did, we gathered data. We understood brand's core offering. We tried to understand what were they actually offering. They were offering hotels, hostel facilities. They were offering concession and tuition fees for the students, scholarship quota, etc. Now, these are some of the most important features that we need to communicate and talk about while we are trying to talk to the students because everybody is selling education. So while you have accreditations, people want to know some of the important elements. What's the percentage of placements that has happened? What kind of facilities you have in hostel? What's the kind of fee? And there, is there any concession, intuition fees? What's the price overall? Because the catering that happened here was to a very lower like segment, level segment. It was not to people who were looking for a very extreme institute. They wanted to target people who were looking for an engineering college, not the best ones, but just an engineering college which has an offering at the price that they can afford. So that was the brand score offering. The second thing that we tried to understand was current online presence and analysis of the brand. We did an in-depth analysis of brand social media channels. We understood what is that could drive that could drive the leads from the last or the past impression that they would have got on their website and that they had on their social media channel. And what was the demographic indicating, which is the market in Tamil Nadu trying to get their business. Tamil Nadu is a state where I come from and Chennai is part of Tamil Nadu. So we were trying to understand where exactly the traffic is majorly coming for, what kind of words people search for, is SMK formula being searched on Google or not being searched on Google, which actually makes us understand brand's credibility. Also, what are people talking about this brand on the internet? What is the kind of review that they are writing? So we tried to understand and we analyzed where the brand was standing. And the third thing that we focused was on competitor strategy. In order to create a goal or a pathway, you need to really model someone who is doing it right. Not that we model or copy anything in this case, but we just tried to understand what was brand trying to do. So research on current strategies of competitors, top search volume keywords, bidding cost, 
what's their online presence like, how many social media followers they have, so that it also educates the client. So while we were trying to create these, com these three core elements, this gives all our clients a lot of clarity. So if you're an educational institute or you come from a college background or you're running a university, you might be wanting this clarity first before you start making an investment in digital because you need to really understand what's happening in the market and what exactly is proposed to you for the kind of offerings that you have and for the kind of understanding we have about your business. The second, that we, second thing that we did is creating a point of association. We first identified the decision makers, basically, which is parents who are having kids between the age group 17 to 18, which is, a, which is, the, which is the audience that we would want to target, and students who are actively searching for best colleges. So these are two different segments. Segment one, where the dad and mom goes and say, hey, why don't you do this college? And segment two is an audience that says, hey, I am looking for so-and-so college. Do you have the kind of offerings which I'm looking for? Or do you have the kind of course which I'm looking for? So intention of users on different platforms, the two different year, when people are searching for things on Google, the intention is very, very high. And then when people are searching for things on Facebook and Instagram, or they are there on Instagram, the intent of the audience is pretty low. Because there's something called demand generation and demand fulfillment which I always talk about in most of my videos. In a college case, sometimes demand fulfillment at a very last stage works really, really well. Because let's understand this. I have just got my results and now I know what my scores are like. So I pretty much know what kind of college which I generally got, get because that, that's my cutoff mark. So I go on Google and search for best engineering colleges in Chennai, cheap engineering colleges in Chennai, engineering colleges that offer so-and-so courses, engineering colleges with 100% placement. For all of these words, if your brand starts coming on top, you see immense result or desired result or great visibility for your brand out there. While you are a popular brand and you have an amazing offering, you can always go on social media and talk to them and say, hey, is your child looking for getting admission in engineering college? We have an amazing offer for them. Or this is the kind of college we have and this is the kind of offering we have. Wouldn't you want to come and check out our open day where we actually educate you how can you build your child's career in our institute? So there is a way where you go and talk to people out there and there's a way where you let people search and you be available for them so that when they search, you get visibility and then they start talking to you. Now, the next thing that we did was we tried to create enough audience pool. It's important to create high intent audience pool, which you can constantly engage with and increase your chances of conversion. The three focus areas, identified page scrolls, audience who have scrolled the page for at least three times, audience who have seen the brand video over 70%, which is video views, and form fills, people who have filled the form. This is basically custom audiences. When we are running campaigns all across, Carefully listen, you might get lost right now. You might be thinking, what am I talking? Because this might not be your subject of interest because you're possibly coming from a university background and this might be fairly new because you're investing in digital for the first time or maybe I'm helping you understand the dynamics of it. I'm also a teacher and I teach, so I love teaching and I'm teaching here to those people who actually teach the world out there. So it's a, there's a sense of gratitude for all of you because we are responsible for transforming lives. Now let me get back to the subject here. Paid scrolls, for example, I've run a campaign and you've looked at the advertisement, you clicked on it, you come to my landing page and then you scroll. So scroll one, scroll two, scroll three. If you scroll to the third element, I understand that you're really interested in what I'm trying to sell. Today, Facebook, and YouTube allows you to run a video campaign and whoever's watched the video, you can then show your advertisement. So we created an audience out of that. And whoever has filled the form or commented or shared your post basically also becomes an audience. So you create a very high intent audience out of your first advertisement campaign. And that's the funnel that brings magic. Now, what kind of data is very important for you to analyze as a marketer who is trying to sell universities, colleges, or institutes out there. The focus element here was creating component or using words that we believe has a really high search volume. Now you might say, why her search for high search volume? Because the engineering colleges have that kind of demand in Indian market. So we picked up 
exact keywords like engineering colleges in Chennai, engineering colleges near me, best engineering colleges in Chennai, best engineering colleges and we targeted people across Tamil Nadu. That was the first segment that we were trying to target and of course for people outside of Tamil Nadu too because if somebody is outside of Tamil Nadu and wanting to shift to Chennai we'll only use these words which has in Chennai. We also try to have a relevant keyword like best engineering colleges in world or top engineering colleges in world. Why? You might say sort of yours is not a very popular institute. Why would I want to be on top of Google search result for that keyword? Please understand when you come on top of Google search result for keywords like top engineering colleges in world or best engineering colleges in world, you're trying to create a brand perception. Oh, looks like this is the top one across the world. So why not we just go and check? You create that first impression in the minds of your audience. Why you try to be best in Chennai so that you get a lot of local traffic or the state-wise traffic? You also be a little national here. Since Google had high search intent and most of the students and parents start their hunt for colleges very early, hence it's important that we dominate Google platform for the right keywords with high lead security. The focus is course based grouping, adjective plus local location based grouping, competitor based grouping and negative keywords. Now let me give you an example here. Why we are doing our entire Google advertisement strategy, one of the keyword grouping has been students who are looking for certain courses, electronic and communication engineering colleges in Chennai, mechanical engineering courses in Chennai, right? So there is this intent where the audience is just looking for the courses out there. And then there is an audience that's looking for adjective, best engineering college in Chennai, top engineering college in Chennai, right? They're trying to add a prefix to the most common words that we believe the audience will search for. Then we try to also be there when people are trying to search for SRM college curriculum or admissions in Chennai, right? So we try to use those competitor words. So when somebody is looking at that brand and if they think they can't afford it or there's no admission, they also will look at those ads which is coming on top for these keywords. And then negative keywords are taken into consideration where we believe that we do not want to talk, we don't want to rank because we believe that these universities are really good one or they, they don't have the relevancy to what we're trying to sell. So we try to put them in the negative keywords out there. Here's an example of ad copy for the text ads with the right keyword inserts where you see SMK FIT Chennai admissions open for 2018 SMK Now. We had used the right ad extensions here. We have incorporated the keywords in title, in description, and we tried to use ad extensions where we talk about some of the most important things that we believe audience is searching for. Placements, infrastructure, scholarship, and directly a call to action for apply. Because this is the three or four most important thing that we believe the audience was searching for. So we use that in the extensions out there. Now let's understand what kind of keyword results that or what kind of performance we what kind of results that we got out of the campaign that we were doing. Engineering colleges in Tamil Nadu for that keyword we got about 2 lakh impressions, 21,585 clicks or interactions, our average cost was about 16 rupees per interaction and we got 621 enquiries out of it. Engineering college admission we got about 443 conversions out of it. Top engineering colleges in Chennai, about 443 conversions out of it. Engineering colleges in Chennai, engineering colleges in Chennai, which is ENG, e -N -G -G, and then engineering, and the best engineering colleges in Tamil Nadu. Now, do you understand from this entire thing that majority of people who actually came into this bandwagon or funnel were people who were like trying to look for things in the local market or in the state level market. So for this, we achieved close to about 2000 blitz leads in the campaign. Now let's try to understand what next did we do. We tried to create a landing page with an A or B split test. Now what is A or B split test? Let's say we are going to a market. In the market, we see a chapel, right? And we see a size 7. We take the chapel and we wear it. We try to also try a size 8, sometime, size eight sometimes because we want to check if that's more comfortable. So we're trying to do an A or B split test. Sometimes we take one chapel and compare it with the other chapel. In fact, in one leg, we wear one chapel, in the other leg, we wear another chapel to see which one is looking better. Sometimes we try both the pairs together for the, sec for, the sec for the first chapel and then the second chapels out there because you're just trying to figure out which is the best for you. Like that, 
when we create a landing page we try to create two landing pages for the same audiences to see which one is getting us a maximum conversion at ecomi this is a rule book in our organization that we just do not get satisfied with one landing page we start with one and eventually within few days of the campaign start we create another one to do a split test if in case the client is very much in hurry now the next focus was on social media i have completed the google advertisements bit for you to make you understand that we were trying to fulfill demands of people when they were in need looking for engineering colleges so we exclusively targeted parents who are in age group all parents exclude first to just test with all parents but we exclusively targeted parents between age group 13 to 17 also for a reason these were the people who were actually taking decision for their child now 13 to 17 might have a lot of these parents who are not really interested immediately but they are more likely if they are they are more likely to put their child into this maybe a year or two later so there is an audience of about 31 lakh people this is just an example of one of the audiences we do multiple such audience targeting in the whole process now let's understand how and what we do with our ad campaigns how ever your colleges you need to really portray the best version of your college on the internet because eventually that's what convinces people to take a decision with respect to the college out there you need to really show the bestest photograph which is an investment photographs of the team you need to click that up photograph of the infrastructure you need to click that up you need to not miss a single opportunity that you believe can convey a story about your college to the world out there now look at the advertisement that we had created we use a specific strategy here where we show the skin of a person smiling faces there's a video which is created the video is trying to educate people about why you should actually enroll yourself 10 reasons why you should enroll yourself into this college so it's not an ad it's an educational material a uh, educational and educational institute offering an educational material convinces people more in the ad description we use aida attention interest desire and action that's the strategy that's the template that we use in the content because with that we believe convinces people more here are some of the more some of the other examples we were trying to help people talk so if you see there's scholarships we're talking about no tuition fee we're trying to help people by understanding the core essence of what the college has got to offer in the advertisement generally they say admissions open we don't do that because admissions open is one of the components of communication it can't be highlight of the communication to create the highlight you have to understand the key strength of the institute and the pain point of the students the prospective students and use them in your communication because their pain is the solution you have a solution and you subsidize that or you 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 bring that down by they have a pain and you have a solution and you have an offering so that makes a lot of difference there's immediate email activation and email that will talk about why you should join smk formgra the moment there's an inquiry there's an sms activation and there's a voice call reminder so what happens there's an automation set here in the process somebody who makes an inquiry will get all these three be it through google ads be it through facebook ads we ensure that there is automation so even before the human intervene or gives them a call there's a process set the student is educated he's he's informed about what can he or she learn inside the institute by the time the call goes the person is aware about the institute because he's received an email sms and voice call so it is instant very important today to instantly gratify your audience and to all these audiences who made an inquiry we have start we ran retargeting advertisement where we try to talk about the strength mind of the college to the world out there in the communication strategies the last phase of this campaigns was lead scrutiny and analysis this is where we realized that of, of so many leads that we had received 80% of conversion happened because of google campaigns 10% because of facebook targeting parents and students and turn 10% because of in, on instagram so it's very important for a brand to have a very strong visibility on google search results and get enough reviews done about the college so that a student can judge you about judge you from the perspective of who you are and what you can offer after following such intense process yes He said
So after following such intense process, following was the output, I would say the results that we had got for the client. A uh, spend of about 18,19,016 rupees, which is close to about 30,000 to 35,000 US dollars. We had about 2,745 very highly relevant leads out there. Of this, we got about 195 students converted into the institute in just a period of three months. Now, that is the kind of conversion rate, which is close to about, say, 15% to 20% conversion of the audience, about 10% to 15% conversion rate that we had received. What should colleges focus on in 2020 and 2021? The biggest problem with colleges and universities, they come to us when they are in need of business, specifically during the admission time. And the biggest challenge is at that point of time, everybody's advertising and you are part of the clutter. So you don't distinguish. So today you get an opportunity to build your brand by consistently communicating about your university or your college to the students out there. So focus on a long term game, a year long game plan where you educate the audience, excite the audience, entice them, and you try to keep them updated about what's happening inside your institute. So that when the time comes, they take a decision with respect to you by choice. And then approach platforms other than usual. Choose platforms like Hotstar, TikTok, and InShots, and try to be there where we believe a lot of decision makers with respect to the colleges are the, the prospective parents, or I would say, uh, sorry, the prospective students' parents, and students are spending a lot of time on TikTok and Hotstar. They're spending right your time, their time there. And finally, create a holistic environment for digital, where you create a lot of share with your digital assets, like where you create a digital ecosystem internally, where there's a team which keeps updating like journalism inside your organization, the journal team of journalists who keeps updating social media with all the buzz that's happening right from the campus placements to the events and the excitement that has been brought inside. That's one of the storytelling activities that we instill inside the teams. And the professors are also trained to actually tell stories about social, about the journey inside the institute on social media. Like I, I work with multiple institutes out there. One of the institutes that I have been associated with is MOP Vaishnav College here in Chennai. And I have been connected with a lot of their teachers on social media. And I see that a lot of these teachers keep telling story. In fact, the principal of the college and the teachers out there keep telling story about what they see happening inside the college. Like if there's a guest lecturer, if they have achieved something great, now this significantly improves the brand's perception in minds of people who are actually recruiting too. So it's very important that the storytelling happens through decision makers, students are involved as influencers, and there's a team of journalists inside the institute who actually sets the context right. So that's something that I would like to share with you today in this video. This is the strategy for all of you. And if you're interested to work with me to consult your institute and create a complete larger ecosystem, then you can log on to my site, which is ecomi.in or WhatsApp us on 9176402555. You have seen our country code, which is plus 91 right there. And make an inquiry, talk to us, figure out and we will check up and see if there is a right alignment with respect to budgets and vision. Then we will work together and would love to take your university or college branding or digital forward. With this note, I shall end up my video. And if you guys love my work, I have my Instagram URL there in the description of this video. I want you to subscribe that. It's a small request. Please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and do click the bell icon there. Thank you so much and Dhaniwaad. Have a good day.